YouTube, Andy here, and today we're gonna do, uh, go over macros, or what I'm doing currently for the diet, and kind of explain like what I'm doing in this particular phase of my diet. Um, so to backtrack, uh, around September is when I stopped um, like powerlifting. Um, I had planned to uh, keep competing until uh, November, um, but just after competing in, in July, my body just needed a break. So as of September, I stopped like powerlifting training and I got off uh, all my gears, PEDs, and went totally natty. And so that first phase, like my goal was to just like lose some fat, lose some weight. And so phase one, I would just what I did was I stopped um, eating out as much. Uh, I probably used to eat out probably two or two, two or three times during the week, and then like two or three times during the weekend. So probably five to six times a week. Um, so I cut that out to where I only eat on the weekends and uh, my dog is raping the cameraman right now, but it's all right. Um, and uh, and I, I started tracking. So in the past with with uh, with powerlifting, I didn't really track the very that diligently. I kind of ate the same thing over and over. So I already knew like that how much I ate every day because um, I didn't really go off that plan except when I ate out. Ate out. Um, I just cared more about the, the weight on the scale because of my weight class. I just wanted to like stay within... Um, 10, 15 pounds uh, within my weight class, which is 275. Um, so yeah, so I started tracking and I didn't change anything, I just tracked. So I was already eating what I was currently eating and then cutting out the, going, eating out as much and then with cutting out the PEDs, I lost like probably 10 pounds in the next, the first two weeks. Um, so that was the first phase, and then, then I just started adding more cardio, and I started with just three sessions of 20 minutes, and then with another two weeks, I lost another two pounds, so first month, about 12 pounds done, okay, and then so I would say the after that, the next phase was where I actually, um, I just increased the cardio, and I increased the lifting, so I went from lifting five days a week to six days a week, and then when cardio, I did four sessions, about 20 to 30 minutes, just varies. Um, and then that got me down to another uh, two pounds. Uh, so looking at eight weeks post, like when I started this journey, um, I'm down like 14 pounds. And um, so waking up around 268, 269 in the mornings. Um, and then, so as far as my goal uh, right now is just to lose fat and recomp, meaning I want to just lose fat. I don't really care the amount of weight I lose. I just want to build muscle uh, while losing fat. Uh, which is kind of like what everyone one wants to do, but I'm not gonna do it like in the traditional way or very common way that people like bulk up like 10, 15 pounds in the off season, then you gotta cut it all down because honestly, like building muscle, actually like solid muscle that you don't just like it's not just water weight, that's very hard to do, uh, especially someone at my weight and my age. Um, I'm lucky to gain one pound of muscle uh, even a month, uh, and that's I think that's the case for most people in the world. Uh, eating, gaining one pound of muscle a month is really hard. So when pe when you hear people say they gain like 10, 15, 20 pounds in like two, three months, like all that is just water weight and fat. Like there's no way you can build that much muscle. Even if you're on PEDs, you might gain one and a half to two pounds a month. So uh, I mean, look at, look at like professional bodybuilders. Like they're happy to just gain uh, four or five pounds over the year. And they are, you know, very good at, obviously tracking their food and, and knowing what to eat. So long story short, I am just wanting to lean out and gain some muscle and just put on size because when I train for powerlifting, I don't really focus on muscle size or whatever. I just focus on strength and I really neglected uh, some of my body parts. And this is just more of an aesthetic phase, but also give uh, my body a break from powerlifting. Um, I don't plan to be until October, 2023 uh, at the American Pro. So uh, the next six months so you'd be more like um, aesthetically aesthetically focused and just getting better endurance with the cardio giving my joints a break uh, getting leaner getting healthier stuff like that um, so right now we're currently uh, about 270 in the mornings I'm just doing like I said uh, like my macros stay the same but I just want to give you guys an idea of what I currently eat uh, it's around 4,000 calories and I'm Right now, I'm just doing going by macros, so I substitute uh, the proteins, whatever. I don't st st stay specifically to like the same exact protein every time or, or macro. Um, so today, I'm just going to give you 
uh, a day of life of what I eat. Um, okay. All right. So we're starting with meal number one. Uh, I had prepared eggs for you guys, um, or for you, for me, but my dog Bentley, literally in the one minute that it took for me to go grab, to go <laughs> grab my pick cameraman, ate this off the counter. And so you guys get what's left over. But what's important is I tell you what I'm eating versus show it to you. But um, I just want to, uh, I have my meal plan here, so I just want to like make sure I'm not missing anything. But uh, I started with... Uh, Two whole eggs, and then 250 grams of egg whites, and then I'll do cream of rice. Um, you can get cream of rice like just off Amazon or the store, but I use um, it's called Rice and Grinds. Same thing, pretty much the same thing. Um, and then I will do two scoops of almond butter, and then I'll add some uh, some jelly here. And so this should come out to about 40, 45 to 50 grams of protein. About 40 grams of carbs, uh, about 40 grams of prep fat, and about 721 uh, calories. So we'll put that on the, the screen so that you guys can see it. So that's meal number one. Um, it's not too heavy. It's very light. You know, uh, don't need a lot of ton of don't need a ton of calories in the morning when I'm not going to lift. Um, so go, I usually just go into work and um, eat around 8 a.m. That's when meal one is. Uh, I get up around 7 7:15. And then eat and then go to work for 8.30. So that's meal number one. All right. So meal number two, we have 250 grams of ground beef. This is 90, 96 fat-free. I get it from Trader Joe's. So it's super lean, uh, which I prefer um, for, ground, for ground beef. I really don't like, like fatty uh, ground meat unless it's like in a burger. So uh, we have 250 grams of that. And then we have 200 grams of rice, which comes out to 50 grams of carbs and about 75 grams of protein. And then very little fat, probably five to six grams. And so that's meal number two. Um, I do add some salsas, sauces, whatever, how you say it, and um, some salsa, but I'll show you guys at the end, like kind of like what I like to add. Um, but basically, this is meal number two. I usually have this around 11, 30, 12 o'clock at noon. And then, so yeah, meal two. Okay, moving on to meal number three. If you see a little less chicken than what looks like 250 grams, that's because, again, my dog ate some of that too, apparently. So, um, 250 grams of chicken, uh, chicken breast. I get it already pre made. So, just so you guys know, I don't cook ever, really. The only thing I can make is ground beef and eggs. But this is just from Trader Joe's. And you also know that Trader Joe's is like my favorite meal or favorite store. They have so many uh, pre-packaged things, pre-made things, frozen things that I just can throw in the microwave. So uh, if you're a bachelor who doesn't like to cook, Trader Joe's. And it's really, it's relatively uh, affordable. Um, so this is just chicken breast from them. It's already prepared. And then I have uh, the same thing. It's rice. Uh, this is a different kind of rice. It's a sticky rice that I get from Costco. And I'll show you at the end like what it looks like. But um, again, I just microwave it. And then we have about two, three ounces of uh, asparagus. There, yeah, there used to be more, but again, Bentley. Um, so, meal number three, um, 75 grams of protein, 50 grams of carbs, very low fat, probably another like five to eight grams. Um, so, if you guys know, like I said, I, I do macros, so I don't go specifically by the exact food every time. This could be beef again, or it could be uh, chicken. I kind of interchange it. As long as I hit the macros, so uh, that's meal number three. I usually have this around three o'clock. So meal number three. All right, so meal number four. Uh, it's pre-workout. I have this about about an hour before I lift. Um, I like my stomach to be pretty empty uh, when I lift, so I eat probably eat an hour, hour and a half. Um, so it's really basic. We have two scoops of whey protein, uh, trying to get about 45 to 50 grams of protein. And then I use cream of rice again, or you can do this rice and grinds, or you can do cereal. I do cereal too. It's just anything that's fast and easy. Um, as long as I, I'm going for about 100 grams of uh, carbs, and then um, a lot of some fruit too, whether it's uh, my favorite fruits are berries like strawberries, uh, blueberries, or um, a banana. So those are, uh, that's pretty much what I eat pre-workout. So meal number four. Yeah. 
All right, so intro workout. Very basic, I only use two things. Um, you could add a bunch of other things, but I don't care. It's not, it's very like inconsequential, like adding like creatine and pre-workout, like stuff like that. So uh, pre-workout, I usually just, honestly, I take an energy drink or I actually have just plain caffeine pills. Um, I just need a little uh, energy to for pick me up. I don't care about like the pump stuff, blah, blah, blah. Um, you can take all that, I just, uh, choose to not spend money on that. It's not necessary. Uh, so I do carbs. This is called highly branched cyclic dextrin. I might have talked about it in my other videos, but it is a very low weight, e easy, fast digesting carb. Um, you can buy it from True Nutrition like I do. This is, um, it's pretty plain. I only get like, this is just vanilla. So it's a very neutral flavor to me. Um, and then this has uh, 30 grams a scoop. I do about pretty much two scoops. I try and get about 50 grams of uh, carbs. And then I'll mix that with uh, an any EAA. This is from Raw Nutrition. And I'll do two scoops of this. And that kind of just makes the flavor a little better. And, um, you know, this has the amino acids and some electrolytes. And that's what, you know, what you need during your workouts to um, give you energy and uh, if, uh, help you with your endurance and finish your workout strong. So that's what I do during workouts. All right, so post-workout, um, I'm actually usually always starving after I work out. A lot of, some people are not hungry after they work out, or especially if they work out hard, but I'm always hungry. So uh, right after workout, I immediately get home and I start eating. So um, basically we want, uh, we're going for 75 grams of protein and 125 grams of carbs. And you can do that in any way or shape or form that you want, or that's what I do. Uh, you just want it to be lower fat. Um, this is a time when your muscles are really starving for uh, protein and energy, um, but you don't want to add any fat into there. Uh, it also slows down the digestion of, di digestion of things. So um, quick digesting carbs and some protein, that's what uh, I go for. So uh, for example, like I'll do 200 grams of uh, rice here, and then I'll fill up the rest to hit my 125 grams of carbs with um, cereal or I could do all cereal no rice and then just the chicken um, my cereal of choice cinnamon toast crunch that is the goat um, I might add in some or switch it up with some uh, special K or some fruity pebbles uh, and frosted flakes those are kind of like my go-to's but cinnamon toast crunch the goat so um, comment below. Let me know what you guys like. Uh, maybe I try something different. But what do you like? I well, at night I usually eat uh, rice krispies, a plain one, because it has like no added like yeah. It's just like literally plain rice. Yeah, rice krispies mm -hmm. really very clean, very uh, no additives. So, so yeah, that's uh, meal number five. Are you put you just put water. <laughs> you just put no, water. I okay, guys. I don't put water. I, I, I know somebody was. Yeah, I don't. I use almond milk. But I use very little because I don't like it soggy. So it's it's like. It, I won't even cover half of the amount of uh, cereal, so it's probably like a third of a cup. I mean, you can count that, but I really don't count that in my uh, my, my calories. Uh, so that's meal number five. Um, so I, I forgot to tell, I, I usually work out around 5.30. So meal, like pre-workout meal is like 4 o'clock, 4.30, and then work out, and then I come home. By the time I finish working out, I get home, it's probably 8.30. So meal number five post-workout is uh, around 8.30 p.m. All right, so we've got meal number six, last meal before bed. Uh, I usually have this around 10 o'clock, 10.30. I usually go to bed around 11 o'clock. Um, so this is pretty, uh, it's a pretty light meal. Uh, you want to get a lot of carbs before bed too because I try to uh, uh, feed my muscles after the workout more with carbs. Um, so I usually have a lot of, a lot of uh, frozen yogurt, Greek yogurt, um, and then I'll add a lot of... Um, fruit and then I get try and get about 50 grams of protein from uh, uh, from the whey isolate protein powder and I'm shooting for about 100 110 grams of carbs so again this can be anything it could be I could do cereal again uh, rice krispie treats uh, granola uh, but I prefer uh, Greek yogurt it's just like kind of like a kind of like a dessert slash like treat because it's sweet and 
almost like um, ice cream. Uh, but you can also get ice cream if it's like low, <laughs> low fat, um, whatever you prefer. But this is like a time you can kind of like chill and just uh, enjoy the food and um, just a little snack before bed that's like tasty. Um, so yeah, that is meal number six. And that's what I eat right before bed. All right, so a uh, few little tips and uh, preferences, I guess, suggestions um, of what I do like when I go grocery shopping. So uh, this is the almond milk I, uh, almond milk I use. Um, it's vanilla, but it's unsweetened, so it's only 30 calories a serving. Um, so this little guy probably lasts about a week. Um, I eat cereal probably once or twice a, week, a day. Um, this is like my all-time favorite uh, sauce, Chick-fil-A Polynesian sauce. Um, it's, it's got, it's got a good amount of calories, but I don't use that much anyways, but, um, just enough and uh, a little goes a long way. Um, but this, uh, this one's my favorite and it's lower car, uh, lower calories. This is a sweet and spicy, uh, mustard and that's only 10 calories per serving. And Diet Coke, Coke Zero is a lifesaver. Um, I just love soda, but I don't know. Don't want all the calories and the sugar, so Diet Coke. I probably drink Diet Coke or Diet Root Beer, probably three, four cans a day. Um, I don't think it really. I don't. I don't care about all the like preservatives and artificial sweeteners, all that stuff. I just I live my life, bro. You gotta balance your life with what you like and what you don't. Uh, what's not good for you and all that stuff. But um, yeah. So a lot of Diet Coke and Diet sodas for me. Um, and then I also use a lot of salsa. Uh, it just makes things taste way better. Uh, rice and chicken you get uh, very bland, and you know I only want so much salsa or so much um, sauce on it. So um, some a good medium salsa or pico um, goes a long way. So I love that. And then these are the rices I use. If you don't like cooking, like you know, use a rice cooker and cook like a huge pot of rice and having to like store it all that i just pop these in the microwave this is uh, like a sticky sushi type rice from costco um i think you get like man like 12 of these for 10 bucks so it's very affordable and then these are any grocery store just microwave it. it's about a dollar each um so those are very convenient and like i said i shop at trader, trader joe's a lot it's very affordable and um good quality and i love it i uh, love the foods there and um so you could try that um, but other than that, that's pretty much what I eat in a day. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, of course, let me know. Um, we've got, uh, we'll put all the macros and the calories and the details up. I'm sure you guys will see it. Uh, Sergio will put that on the screen. And that's a wrap for what I'm currently eating.